Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Stephen. If your doctor has told you that you need to do a bone marrow aspiration or biopsy, our video is here to help you understand what you might expect when you go through the procedure. Today we have here with us Stephen, who has been through how many? Seven. Seven bone marrows procedures in a span of two years. two years. So in a way, he's an expert. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you can expect? There are two components to a bone marrow and your experience may vary. There's an aspiration where we take, where the liquid is taken out and there's a biopsy where a piece of the marrow is taken. So the entire pr procedure took about 30 minutes from the time I entered the exam room to the time I left it. There are always two people performing the test, oftentimes one male and one female. At the start, I would have my vitals taken and I would sign a consent form explaining to me the procedure and all that. They would check to see that I had any allergies to like local the local anesthetic, yeah, and, or anything to like to like the tape that they would use to bandage me up. Usually lie, I would lie on my stomach for the procedure and would do it in my lower back, usually. The area is cleaned and then numbed with the local anesthesia. Every, the doctors usually would say I'm going to feel a pinch and a burn. And that's generally what it felt like. There's also a possibility to get, you know, full body anesthesia, but that's usually a more complicated procedure and only done in certain unique situations, which I don't know enough about. After the area was numbed, they would go in and do the aspiration. I would feel an intense pressure as the needle went into the, the bone marrow. The, you know, the, the, the reality is, is that your, your skin can be numbed, but they can't numb the bone, and so you're going to feel some pain and pressure on this. Um, there would be a tugging kind of feeling as they tried to pull out the marrow. Then if you needed a biopsy, they would go in with a second needle and take some a bit of the bone. The biopsy would hurt more than the aspiration. After they did their procedure, they would bandage me up. Usually, you ha if, if you had an aspiration, I'd have to wait 24 hours after being bandaged before I could take it off. And if I had a biopsy, I'd have to wait 48 hours before I could take the bandage off. This meant I couldn't wash the area in that time frame either. Along with the blood test, you will also have a bone marrow at a minimum at diagnosis. This is required to diagnose CML and help to identify what phase you're in. When I had my bone marrow the first time, I had both. I had an aspiration done and then a biopsy done, so I was poked twice. It was fun. No, not really. I was on a trial and I had to have bone marrows every three months for the first year and every six months for the second year. But that's very rare. Now I will say that for those of you that are new to CML, do not freak out. It's not normal to have seven bone marrows over two years. I was on a trial that required me to have it a lot more than normal. These days, generally you, you need to have a bone marrow when you first get diagnosed, and otherwise you might not need another one. And the only chance of time you might need another one after that first one is if, you're, if your results change or if there's a mutation or if your doctors are concerned about something. But if everything goes as planned, you should only need one bone marrow now. It's important to get educated about this disease. And when you get educated, you can be better prepared and feel more comfortable to know what you might experience as a survivor. Thank you for watching today. Together we heal.